How about is my UPS guy's last day? <laughs> He's been bringing packages here since I was, I was little. And today was his last day. I'm kind of sad about it. But at least his last delivery was a good one. <laughs> um, he brought me the new um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder blushes. So I'm going to haul those and do some swatches for you guys and kind of give you my um, first initial thoughts on them. So the packaging looks like that kind of standard hourglass packaging and then on the back of the box here it says that they are ambient lighting blushes a truly multi-dimensional blush that enhances cheeks with seamless soft focus color and a natural radiant finish and there is 0.15 ounces in each blush and they are 35 dollars a piece and i got all of mine at sephora and i do know that they do have a few of them on hourglass too but i think half of them may be sold out on both websites but I'm sure they're gonna be back in stock so so the blushes themselves they all correspond to the hourglass ambient lighting finishing powders that are out they have a sh they're shock full with a blush shade and also the ambient lighting powder so this one here is dim light and the blush is dim infusion so you can see that the lighter color in the in the blush pan is actually the dim light powder infused into the blush um, I use ambient lighting powders as finishing powder as the last step in what I do for my whole face. I don't use it to set like BB creams or foundations and stuff like that because I'm so fair that the color of these will pick up too strongly once it, it, it hits my face, you know, that sticky base. And I much prefer them as an all over finishing powder because it literally will diffuse all the products on your face like together seamlessly into to one like you know all over veil which is really pretty I really like the ambient lighting powder powders so I was like super excited to see that the blushes were coming out and the ambient lighting powders they are $45 a piece and there is 0.35 ounces of product in there so you're getting about you're getting over twice the amount in here as you do the blush but then again you're, you're not gonna use a blush all over your face like you would in ambient lighting powder so I'm going to show you guys the, the blush with the corresponding ambient lighting powder of the ones that I have. I'm missing one of them, but I'm going to show you guys up close so that you can see the dimension. And also I know that the veining in the blushes is different because they're, you know, like a marbleized baked type deal. So the pattern and the amount of pigment you may get in each one could be different. So uh, just bear that in mind. So these ones right here, this one here. And this one here is called Radiant Magenta, and here is the corresponding powder. This was a holiday palette that came out, but... So this one here, you can see, has got a lot of pigment in it. Um, not all of them have as much color pigment as this one, the ones that I have anyway. Um, some of them do have a little bit more of the ambient powder in them than the color powder. So that one there is Radiant Magenta and Radiant Light. And then you have Mood mood exposure which is this is the blush and then the ambient lighting powder and mood light which is one of my favorite ones it's got a, a pink tone to it that's what those look like next to each other here you have diffused heat blush and then this is the diffused light ambient lighting powder so you can see that the the veining in here is it's about a 50 50 um mix in the blush in this one where like the mood light had more pigment in it than and so did the magenta one as opposed to um, as much ambient powder in it so that's those ones and then this one here is dim infusion and this one here is dim light right there is ethereal glow which is the blush and then this is the ethereal light powder which is a white I have you I've actually almost hit pan on the white one because it's one of my favorites so I was really excited about this blush I do this is the one right here that I do have on my cheeks right here today uh, the the only the only thing that I find that it's a little bit disappointing about this is with it it's got that it's a milky pink baby pink you know blush and I expected that to be on the cheeks and initially when you first put it on it goes on that color but it will deepen up in color over the day whereas like Illamasqua's Katie when you put that on it really stays true to that baby pink color that doesn't mean that I don't like this because I, I think that the finish of it is beautiful um, this is the first time that I wore them and like I said the finish of this blush and the diffuse or the ambient lighting powders the finish of these products is really really gorgeous 
So I do like this, but I, I am just a little disappointed that it deepened up in color a bit on me. But then again, I am really, really fair. <laughs> so if you, you know, if you have a little bit deeper skin tone, it, it may not do that. So that's that one. And then the last blush is called Luminous Finish. And I actually don't have the Luminous uh, Light Ambient Lighting Powder in this shade. I thought that it was just a little bit too deep for my liking. So I didn't pick that one up. That is that one. Now I'm going to get all up close and personal with you guys and show you some swatches. So these first two here are Luminous, the Luminous Blush and Dim Infusion. The top one is Luminous and the bottom one is Dim Infusion. Luminous is described as a champagne rose and then Dim Infusion is described as a subdued coral. And it is definitely a subdued coral. My skin is very pale and there's no primer on there or anything so um, that's over just bare skin right there. And I do think that um, it may not show up, the coral one may not, this, this one right here, it may not show up on deeper skin tones. Um, but I think it, it could be buildable. Let's just, let's see here. That's about, yeah. So that's about as, um, much pigment as you're going to get right there. So that is, uh, Luminous Light and Dim Infusion. So here is Radiant Magenta and Ethereal Glow. The top one is Radiant Magenta, which is gorgeous, and the bottom one is Ethereal Glow. I, I, this is like one of my favorite shades of pink. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but my wrist is, it's a, it's a pretty dry area, so as the day wears on and your, you know, your skin produces a little more oil or perhaps use a setting spray, I do find that this does, um, doesn't quite stay true to that particular baby pink shade, but both of the colors nonetheless are very, very gorgeous. The finish in, on these is just, it's, it's stellar. <laughs> and then, um, Radiant Magenta is described as a golden fuchsia, and Ethereal Glow is described as a cool pink, which I think the descriptions fit. And then here are the last two. The top one is Diffused Heat, and it is described as a vibrant poppy. And the bottom one is Mood Exposure and it's described as a soft plum. Um, again, both these colors are, they're, they're stunning. And the, texture of the textures of these is really stunning as well. Um, when, you, when you stick a brush in there, depending on how much you swirl it around in the product, it can get a little powdery, but that doesn't transfer on the face. They don't look powdery on the skin. They, they look great. <laughs> um, they really do. So those are the last two so like you you can see there too the veining a little bit like there's a little bit more um of the mood blush color in here than there is the powder and then there's a little bit more of the ambient lighting powder as opposed to the blush color in like this one so and then to somebody on my instagram they did say that one of their blushes i think it was the ethereal light was almost all ethereal light lighting powder as opposed to the pink blush color in there so they were kind of upset about that so you might want to check check on them in store <laughs> or check the one in the box before you buy I, again i did get these online so so hopefully those swatches were helpful i'm just going to hold them up a little bit further back like that so hopefully if my lights were too bright um on the actual powder i won't know until i edit again but um you can see them a little bit more true to color back here here is radiant magenta this middle one is mood exposure and then this last one is diffused heat and these these shades are are stunning and i also think that these particular these three particular shades will look really great on a load of skin tones so and here are the other three this one is luminous flush the middle one is dim infusion and the last one is ethereal glow uh these two particular ones i guess are the the dim infusion and the ethereal glow I believe are the only ones that may not work on every skin tone. I think that they will probably be best for um, light, fair skin, possibly medium light. <laughs> um, or you could, you know, use them, they could maybe work out as a highlighter depending on how, you know, your skin tone, but they are the lightest two shades out of the bunch as far as um, coloring goes. They all pack good, um, I want to say, I want to say pigmentation, like the pigment is there. But depending on how much of the ambient lighting powder is diffused into the blush color will depend on how much of that color you get in the product, you know? Because you're getting the pigment from the, dif dif the diffused powders and the blush. It just depends on the mixture that you're getting in the pan, kind of. Um, particularly me, I like all the colors and I think that they, 
I think they'll work out for my skin tone. I mean, I'm fair, so I should be able to use the fair, you know, the lighter ones, but um, I do really like these a lot. <laughs> I also think that the blushes will be great to match with your ambient lighting powders. I don't think that you'll have to use, you know, the corresponding blush with the corresponding ambient lighting powder. I think that it'll, it'll you'll have a lot of different ways to mix things up if you want. Me personally, I don't find, since I do use the ambient lighting powders as a finishing powder, I kind of base it off like my overall look like today which I use my girl on meteorites I wasn't thinking I should have used the mood lighting mood light is it called mood light yeah the mood light ambient lighting powder because it's got the plummy purple tone to it it would look good with my my whole color scheme that I have on <laughs> today so but I think they're stellar products from hourglass I really like them um you might want to wait till you get in store and can really check them out for yourself just because of the veining or the lighter ones and the, the darker ones so so although I did just get them I I'm so far I'm really impressed they just look really really good on the skin and the colors are really great they're really smooth they're super finely milled they're the same type of um, product not product the same type of texture as your ambient lighting powders except for they have they're infused with more color to make it a blush <laughs> so um I really like them I really do so I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul and you know found it useful as far as the swatches are concerned or if you were thinking about buying some and you just weren't sure on the colors and stuff like that um hopefully you found this helpful <laughs> uh thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later bye